Hi everyone, it's great to be here today. My name is Anthony Cole. I am a senior business developer for Amazon Business. And as Rob mentioned, I'm president of the Black Employee Network chapter here in Seattle. The Black Employee Network, also known as Ben, is one of Amazon's 13 affinity groups. We also have Glamazon, Women's At, Indigenous At, um, Latinos At, and several other groups. And our mission is to champion inclusion, diversity, and equity, and to create a support system for our Amazon employees. We also focus on professional development, recruitment, community involvement, networking, and of course, Amazon business growth. I'd love to introduce you to our panel, each of which who started their Amazon careers in one of our fulfillment centers. Welcome all of you, and thanks for being with us today. We've compiled a list of questions that are often asked about our company, and I think you are the perfect group to answer them. First off, Amazon always talks about how you can grow your career here, but there are a lot of people who want to understand what that really means. I'd like to hear a bit more from each of you about your journey and how you've been able to easily transition teams at Amazon. So uh, Lydia, let's start with you. Hi, Anthony. Uh, thank you so much. So I actually started out as a seasonal associate in a fulfillment center um, in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, I did um, get converted after only three months of being a, a seasonal employee. Um, I actually received my first promotion um, in operations just under my one year anniversary. Mm -hmm. um, I've worked with a learning team um, to train new leaders and new associates. Um, I also partnered with human resources on a lot of different retention um, projects for our um, for our associates. And then that led me into um, where I am now, um, being a human resources business partner in one of our Amazon delivery stations. Oh, that's awesome. Congratulations on your promotion. Thank you. Uh, Alyssa, tell us about your journey. Yeah, I started as a temporary associate um, right here in Sumner, Washington. Um, I, we worked in our research and development site. Um, after about three months, same as Lydia, I got um, our, my blue badge. Um, and, you know, I, I wanted to stay with the company. I loved it so much. Um, ended up, you know, getting promoted to a tier three. And I had a one-on-one -on -one with a really great uh, mark, uh, recruiting manager up here in Seattle. And I came out of that meeting totally excited about recruiting um, but with zero experience mm -hmm. uh, so I had to basically convince the team that I could bring you know great operations experience and having multiple managers at the site I believe that I could you know affect who is hired into that next role um, and once I got in, um, I actually ended up transferring to iTeam, um, internal transfers, um, engagement and mobility team. Mm -hmm. um, and they, you know, they, their focus is to help promote internal associates from within. Awesome. I love that. So Jose, you came to Amazon um, after about 20 years experience and you made a big jump really quickly. Um, and I have to ask something that's on a lot of people's minds, right? Uh, you know, once you got your foot in the door, um, is it easy to transition to other positions within the company? Yeah, thank you, Anthony. Um, yeah, I found the journey to be very easy once I got to Amazon, and then the journey getting to Amazon was a bit unique mm -hmm. in, in my case. So, like you said, I had twenty years. I have twenty years experience before coming to Amazon. Um, I in financial services industry. I, I left the industry to take time off to spend with my family, um, and that was the initial thought. Uh, took about a year off from the workforce and focused on my family, started having conversations with some of the major banks and, and conversations were progressing and materializing. You know, the marketplace was something more of like who you know versus what you know. And unfortunately in my network, I didn't know anyone at Amazon. So I figured the best way to meet people was to join any which way I could. So I went to the fulfillment center that the nearest fulfillment center, which is about three minutes from my home, went in there and started as a tier one level one warehouse associate and um, used the tools that are provided by Amazon like job finder to find opportunities and the phone tool to find out who different folks in, throughout the senior leadership team within finance to find the opportunity and like as you mentioned within about two months I started conversations interviewing and within four months I started my new role. All right, this one is for all of you. Um, you got a lot of questions on how tough the work environment is at Amazon. Um, is that your experience? So I'll start. Um, having the experience of working in the fulfillment center mm -hmm. and 
in the corporate office environment. I was in a unique opportunity, in a unique position where I had 20 years of senior, senior leadership experience and coming in with a managerial type of mindset you know, to understand what the, what the leadership team at the Fulfillment Center wanted to accomplish, but also being humble enough, obviously walking in there day one, um, loading trucks, uh, to be able to have kind of like those water cooler conversations and relationships with folks on the floor yeah. to understand what they wanted, right? We, we have an objective and something to get, a goal to get to at the end of each day. And we do it within a, like a reasonable flow, I think. That's my personal perspective. Is it tough? Yes, mm -hmm. it's, it's hard, right? I worked four day shifts, 10 hour shifts, and it's difficult, but you know, Amazon's a well-oiled machine and, and you go in there, you start your shift, managers are understanding, you have your breaks, plenty of breaks throughout the day. There's mutual respect between managers and the employees, regardless of the level. Um, and, and that was unique in and of itself. It was a tough environment, but you know, it's doable and, and respect was the theme of yeah. the day to day there. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it is a tough, it is a tough environment, but at the same time, it's, it's again, only as tough as you make it, right? You, you, if you go in and you have a good work ethic and you, you know, try hard, um, it's, it's easy to, to make it. Cool. Yeah. So I kind of have like a twofold experience, right? So I was a picker 10 to 15 miles a night. I called it my new, my, uh, my, my free workout plan is what yep. I call yeah. it. Right. So get paid to work out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. You know, going in there every single day, seeing a different part of the process and then, you know, learning how essential I actually was like whatever I was picking was maybe someone's birthday present, an anniversary gift, a one of a kind find like you just you're you're a hero kind of you know that's the way I started kind of looking at it um and just making sure that whatever someone sees on the website it gets to them in the same way right mm. um so I understood that so you know the the breaks um the you know the walking yes those things are tough but like I said the breaks give you that time to relax reset um you know if you had a question for your leader take and be able to talk to them um and then on the flip side of that um being in in HR it's a lot of information right like it's they equate it to drinking from a fire hose, right? Like you have to learn about your process. You have to learn about time off options. You have to learn about all these different things. Um, we're, we don't know everything. It's a lot. I still ask questions, even if I've done something several times over, I'm like, hey, just so I make sure I have this, like <laughs> walk me through it a little bit, right? But, um, and again, with Alyssa, it's only as tough as you make it, right? Like if you go in and you understand what you're actually doing is, magic every single day mm -hmm. um and just taking and understand that there is going to be there are going to be some tough times to where you are sore um making sure you're understanding what that soreness is coming from we have on-site safety um we yeah. have on-site you know um am care right like you mm -hmm. can take and go ask those questions to the safety professionals right um that are in there just being able to understand and make sure you're you're identifying things the the right way and getting the right resources um we have accommodations resources we have leave of absence resources right so um, there are a lot of tools um, and a lot of resources available for us. One of the other things I hear about in, in the news and the media a lot is uh, like opportunity and growth, right? There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of ne negativity, right? But we're surrounding, you know, there's, there's no way to promote or, you know, and, and I, I would, I would urge you to look at us three, right? Like, there's, there's always opportunity. And even my team is we're I team. We promote internals. I literally send out emails weekly about opportunities geared towards internal people, right? One of our new projects that's coming out is literally to allow associates to apply on their phone, right? So it's going to be like this awesome new opportunity and they're going to have it access, you know, they're having access 24 seven. Absolutely love it. So uh, each of you, um, you know, mentioned that there's a, a level of it being tough, but there's also a fulfill, fulfillment yeah. um, in terms of a fulfilling feeling, doing understanding the why um, behind why you're doing your role and also having fun while doing that. So thank you for sharing. Yeah. yeah. So folks uh, know a lot about Amazon, but what are some things folks don't know that you like to share? 
So I definitely like to share something about the benefits, right? So um, in January of 2016, um, Amazon actually started um, to pay for maternity leave, actually started to pay 100% of your pay versus the 60% 60 in years before. Um, I did have my daughter in January of 2016, which was amazing. Um, I actually was able to get um, 14 weeks off with her initially. Um, She was a preemie. So being able to have that time to just kind of like decompress and understand what that means to have have um, uh, have a preemie um, and be able to spend that time and kind of get life in order while also having my income come in was was perfect. Um, um, I also got an additional two weeks um, that um, was was right there at the end that I was able to save um, until a little bit later in the year before my other uh, children went back to school. Um, and it gave me a little bit more time to be with them before they went back to school and then also to spend some time with the baby um, mm-hmm. after she had gotten a little bit older. So That's awesome. So I love that you had all of that time with your newborn. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else would like to share things that you know? Yeah, I can chime in there. Um, So my my mom was diagnosed with cancer in 2001. um, And obviously I've been with Amazon since 2011. And then later when when my mom um, passed away in 2019, like right before that time, she was on hospice care. So my team encouraged me to take time off um, and the, the amount of like one, the amount of vacation and personal time that they give you here um, allowed me to like be very flexible with what I needed. I was able to take FMLA um, during that time as well. Um, which really allowed me to be there to help her with whatever she needed. So part of that time, you know, I wanted to really be, be in my job and work because it was a distraction. But at the same time, like my manager and my team pushed me to like take time off, like, you know, have that, have that moment. Um, and it, it helped a lot. Um, and having that, that opportunity with FMLA that Amazon offers was really, was really helpful and impactful for me. Awesome. I, I really love that you had that team support and were able to also take advantage of the benefits that we offer yeah. during that tough time. Yeah. And I feel and, uh, like that's something else that a lot of people don't realize. It's like, it's a huge family. Mm-hmm. Like, honestly and truthfully, I will tell my team, like, you are like my family. Mm-hmm. And um, I mean that, right? Uh, because just like what you said, just all of that support, um, it means a lot. Um to come in you're not just going you're not just going into a workplace you're going into like your second home almost yeah. right so and getting to build like all these different relationships and meet all these new people that helps us get through a lot of different things too so i'm definitely glad that you had as much support as you did going yeah. through all of that with your mom me too yeah. <laughs> yeah and i would add about the benefits right so again Coming into the fulfillment center, my, my motive was obviously to move and get an opportunity within the corporate function, um, but also to provide medical benefits for my family. And that's something that Amazon offers day one, uh, level one, right? You go into the fulfillment center, you're, you start working and you have full blown benefits, healthcare, 401k, all that good stuff available to you day one. And then going back to your original question and to move away from benefits is, Like something that folks may not be aware of about Amazon. For me, what caught my attention at the warehouse was the amount of opportunity that Amazon offers people in general from all walks of life and all backgrounds. Yeah. Right. Folks have an opportunity. So if you want to work and you want to have an opportunity to get in the door somewhere, Amazon is a great place to start. I love all of those answers and what a great way to end today's panel. Um, You know, talking about our keys to personal success here at Amazon. I want to thank you again for all of you sharing your stories with us today and our career day audience, giving us insight into those frequently asked questions. 